Hello and uh, welcome to Saki Tech. Uh, so this video is about a series of network troubleshooting tools that you can use in command prompt to troubleshoot your network and get some information on your network. So in this video we're gonna go over four commands. The IP config command, the NS lookup command, the ping command and the trace RT the trace route command so let's start with IP config for now okay so the first command that I want to go over is the uh, IP config command the IP config command is a very common and very useful tool it displays the current information about your network so it will give you basic information such as your IP address for the computer that you're stationed on it will give you the IP address of your router it will tell you where your DNS servers is where your DHCP servers are so let's type in the basic IP config command to start and uh, usually your local area connection is called the Ethernet adapter local area connection. So this is the connection where you plug in your network cable. The RJ45 network cable connects to the to the jack behind your computer and this is the information pertaining to that connection. Anyway, you can get your IP address on this screen which is 192.168.1.2 one zero it's also called the IPv4 address uh, you can get your subnet mask right here and you can get your default gateway address here the default gateway is your router so now I know the IP address for my router by looking at this screen um, as you can see you don't get much information about your local area connection here so what I'll do is I'll clear the screen type in CLS to clear the screen and type in IP config slash all to get more in-depth information about your local area connection press enter and let's go back up to the Ethernet adapter local area connection this time as you can see there's much more information present uh, the IP address is still here the subnet mask is still here the uh, router address is still here but this time you can also see where is your DHCP server in my case as you can tell the IP address is the same as the router address that means that my DHCP server is currently residing on the router and then your DNS server uh, my DNS server is also 192.168.1.1 it's the same as my router address that means my DNS server is also on my router so you can see how this tool is helpful in troubleshooting and information gathering information gathering is a part of troubleshooting so um, you know when it comes to networks DNS DHCP uh, the default gateway the subnet mask these are all important keywords and you can get the information about these guys right here uh, so if, if you are trying to troubleshoot the DNS server you can beforehand type in the IP config command and find where the DNS server is so in my case it's in the router so I would go to the router settings to tweak the DNS server okay so let's uh, let's move on to the next command this is all I want you to know about the uh, IP config command so clear the screen and let's get on okay so one of the commands you'll be using a lot for network troubleshooting is the ping command ping command allows you to send a signal to another device and if that device is active it will send a response back to the sender now for those of you who are interested in the details how of, of how this works the the ping command is a subset 
of the ICMP, Internet Control Message Protocol, and it uses what is called an echo request. So when you ping a device, you send out an echo request, and if the device you pinged is active or online, you get an echo response. So already you can tell why this is a good command to troubleshoot. So for example, if your router is down and you try to ping it and you get no response, then you know that the router is what is giving you problems. So let's, uh, let's run this command a couple times and see what kind of results we get. So let us, let us uh, ping my router. Ping 192.168.1.1, press enter. And let, we will analyze the, uh, <clears throat> the printout here that we got. So what happens is we send out four packets to the destination. And the destination responds back with the same four packets. So as you can see here, one, two, three, four. So this is a reply from 192.168.1 and 1. That is my router. We sent out 32 bytes of data and we got back 32 bytes of data and we got it back in less than one milliseconds. Down here you get a summary. So it says packets sent four, packets received four, packets lost zero. So that means this is a stable connection. And then there's another, some statistics here that is not important. So this is how the ping command works. It sends out an echo request <clears throat> using data packets of, of minuscule size. And uh, then you get a response and you know that the other device is actually alive. So let us ping um, Google, www.google.com and see what happens. So we got a similar printout. Let me just bring this to the top. And uh, as you can see, this is the IP address of Google. And that is where we got the response from. As usual, we sent out 32 bytes of data. But as you can see, because Google is far, far, far away and not in my basement, um, it, it took 29 milliseconds to send, uh, to, to get a response from Google. And uh, if you look down here again, statistics are packets were sent four, received four, lost zero. So the connection was stable. Finally, let's ping a device that doesn't exist. This is going to yield the same kind of results if a device wasn't actually working. So if your router was down and you pinged your router, but uh, you were not going to get a response from it. So let's see, ping uh, 192.168.2.200, press enter. So we're pinging it right now. And the request was timed out because that device does not exist. As you can see, the ping command is retrying. It's gonna retry four times. The first packet didn't go through, second, pa second packet didn't go through, the third, third packet and the fourth packet did not go through. And as you can see at the summary, packets sent four, received zero, and lost four. So it was 100% lost. The signal does not exist. So if you ping the device, you get no response, and you lose all the packets, that means the system you're trying to reach is uh, not connect to the network. It's having network problems. And this brings us to the end of the uh, ping command. Let's clear the screen and move on to the next command. So uh, the next command is the trace RT command. So what the uh, trace RT command does is it lets you see step by step uh, a, a route a packet takes to the destination that you specify. So if you send a packet to google.com before the packet actually reaches google.com, it goes through a couple of routers to reach the destination. So it'll go to your router, then it will go to Verizon or Comcast router, and from there it's gonna to go to all kinds of different routers before it reaches Google servers. So <clears throat> you can also use the term hops instead of routers. 
So if it takes 10 routers to get to google.com, you can instead say it took 10 hops. So how do you, do, how do you use this, uh, this command for troubleshooting? Let's actually run the command and see what kind of results we get. So I'm going to run the trace RT command and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trace google.com. Okay. So as you can see, we're getting a list of each of the routers that we are hitting as we are closing in on google.com. And up here it will tell you what you're tracing and it will give you the IP address for uh, Google. Okay, so the trace is complete. Let's see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We went through 11 hops, 11 routers before we actually reached google.com. Now if you look up up top here, the first router that we actually hit was my own router. I can tell by the IP address right here. 192.168.1.1 and it's the uh, wireless broadband router dot home. The next one, because I, I have my service through Verizon, was Verizon's router. So it, it clearly uh, goes step by step through all the hops. And uh, then after 11 hops, we were at google.com. What, um, what, what is the significance of this? Let's say your home network was perfectly fine, but there was a problem with the Verizon routers. You can run the trace RT command, and uh, if, uh, if, an, if there's any problems here, it will actually tell you what the problem is. It, it could say things like request timed out, destination unreachable or it could also say that instead of 16 milliseconds it could be saying like 5000 milliseconds just to give an example and I don't think you'll ever see that but so if the request times out that means the problem lies with one of the routers that has to do with Verizon and then you can call Verizon and you can tell them hey you guys are having a problem because I know that my router works because I ran the trace RT command so this is the idea behind the trace RT command uh, as far as troubleshooting goes. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this command. Let's clear the screen and move on to the final command. Okay, so the final command I want to talk about is the NS lookup command. This command will fetch the DNS records for a given domain name or an IP address. Remember, the IP addresses and domain names are stored in DNS servers. So the NS lookup command lets you query the DNS records to gather information. So let's say I wanted to know the IP address of google.com. I could simply type in NS lookup and, and type in google.com press enter and what let's analyze this uh, printout so the the first two lines here show you which DNS server was used to get these results my DNS server happens to reside on my router as you can see 192.168.1.1 is my router so that is also my DNS server and uh, the answer that we got was this all these IP addresses here are Google's IP addresses. Now Google is a huge website. Obviously it's not going to have one single IP address and obviously the IP addresses will change from time to time. But if you type in any of these IP addresses in your browser it will take you to google.com. Uh, so this is the uh, basic idea behind the uh, NS lookup command. Okay so this brings us to the end of this video. And uh, if you guys liked the video, just click the like button. And if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel because I will be updating more and more videos of this sort. And uh, thank you for watching. Have a good day, guys.